Hello everybody, Grace Still Plays, and we're checking out a game for the channel called Home Wars. So this is a really weird game. This is like Ravenfield meets Total Tank Simulator meets Arachnophobia. Basically what it is, is you play a squad, well not a squadron, an entire army of green army men of all different types. And your job is to protect the house from invading pests that come in during the springtime. There is like every type of army man figurine you can possibly imagine in this. Well, let me show you something real quick. There's two different types of play, campaigns and custom. Think of custom as uh, very much like your total tank simulator, totally accurate battle simulator style of fight. You choose a bunch of allies, you choose a bunch of enemies, and then you pit them against one another. But the difference is at any time, you can gain control of any of these people. You can gain control of your snipers. You can gain control of your anti-aircraft guys. This mech over here, there's tanks and anti-aircraft. Uh, I don't know what you'd want to gain, you know, uses of supply truck for, but there's howitzers and mortars and this thing. I don't even know what the hell this is. Some sort of prototype tank that never made it into into a circulation, I don't know, is this real? It looks like we have the classic Katusha rocket launcher over here. We got something just called Big Gun. I don't even know what that is. Armored warship, it's a freaking blimp. Look at it. It's got a 150 millimeter triple cannon, while 40 millimeter rotary cannon shoots explosive grenades that are good for taking out medium speed enemies. You got the, this looks like an F-14 Tomcat. Look at all this. There's a, that looks like an A-10 Warthog over there. Got the, uh, gunships and strategic bombers. Is that a B-52? It looks like a B-52. Um, man, I'm trying, okay, now I'm gonna see if I can, if I can use a little bit of my old plane knowledge. When I was a young kid, I used to, I used to know a little bit about planes. Does this feel like an aardvark? I feel like that feels like an aardvark right there. And this right here, what does this remind me of? F-16 Falcon? I think it reminds me of an F-16 Falcon. Um, but yeah, so I know a little bit, well, I knew a little bit about planes. I assume this is like your Apache. Um, I don't know, there's a lot of, anyway, there's a lot of cool stuff here. So, you are the army men and you have to take on, look at this crap. The insects, and look at how many there are. Look at this. Titanus Gigantus is the largest beetle in the world. The insect reaches an incredible length of 170 millimeters. That's why it's slow and not very responsive. This beetle's strength is the huge armor. The allied army will have to use its best weapons to penetrate the armor and harm the insect. However, even once penetrated due to its particular physical endurance, Oh, I'm sorry. It's peculiar physical endurance. It will be quite a challenge to knock it down. This invertebrate has extremely powerful jaws and it can bite. And its bite can break a pencil or small branches. When you're a little army man, that's a big deal. We got freaking emperor scorpions up in here. We got the freaking hemipepsis freaking tarantula hawk wasp thing. Look at all this crap, man. Classic Hornet. Got a Praying Mantis. Yeah. But anyway, so there's a ton of stuff. So how it works is, I'm going to show you the campaign real quick. and Like, just real quick. Just like a battle or two. And then we're going to go into custom battle and kind of show you how this game plays. So, this game is surprisingly difficult. Um, I have like the, the health and stuff turned way down just so I could show you guys a game without dying immediately. The idea here is, is that there's two different types of play. There's a strategic play which is like how you prepare for the onslaught, and then there's the actual real-time battle. So it's like a little bit of turn-based, and then a little bit of real-time. The tutorial on this is kind of eh, so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of just go through some of the things that I found. Here's the giant ass anthills that are sitting outside the house. You'd figure if it was, you'd figure if it was quite this horrifying, you would do something about it. You can move the camera all about, but it's weird because like you move the camera with your mouse, um, and then you use the WASD keys to kind of like move around. There's no like rotational keys that I found for just regular rotation. 
And then you can lift up and down with the space bar and the shift key. Very unusual. But anyway, so here's our army man cam. This is where the magic happens. You click on it and there's, look at this, it's friggin' menus out the wazoo. Headquarters, intelligence, recruitment, ammunitions, blah, 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 blah. Basically what it is, is the headquarters is where you begin to build buildings that produce stuff for your army. So this is, you can have up to 16 buildings, and what I like to do first is get a plastic factory. And this is what it says it'll, it costs, and this is what you get. So every turn, it takes 30 rough plastic, but it refines it into 500 refined plastic, and it takes four batteries. So you start out with, I think, 50 batteries? Yeah. So, and then you, you lose batteries as these things are powered and run. And then I like a nice metal factory because that gives us refined metal. So let's go ahead and put that over there. So now we're going down by nine batteries every turn. And that's why next I usually like to get a power station. And then from there I like to get a military academy. Because the military academy gets you XP every round. And with the XP, go ahead and get out of this real quick. You can go over to unlock. And you can unlock all your different dudes. So you can see you have infantry, which ends at the mech warrior, which is friggin' amazing. You got vehicles, which ends at the war machine. Artillery, which ends at the big gun. Aircraft, of which there are just a ton. Everything from the airships to the friggin' bombers. And then just general. And general's kinda like your extra stuff. So the supply truck is actually really, really good. Um, because you need it to uh, give your men more ammo and stuff like that. But I can tell you in this game, right off the bat, in order to win any fights, you need to get the assault troop. I don't know. For some reason, the riflemen just don't seem to kill ants good enough. So I use the assault, well, the assault troop for that. Don't worry about the spelling. Nobody's perfect. So let's go ahead and unlock this. We're going to go ahead and unlock this. So that leaves us with 25 XP. But we're going to get more pretty soon, especially when we start getting into some fights. So what I like to do right off the bat is recruit a new army and infantry and like one guy boom create army that's it one dude and his job is to go around capturing these flags off the bat now we're gonna have to fight and we're probably gonna lose some of them but you want to get some in the beginning because each one if you click on the room is worth like all these different items so these are all your different plastics and then on top of that you have a uh, toxic incendiary and something else. I, I don't remember them all. But anyway, they give you different items. So our one guy just captured the room that we're in. And we're going to have to walk his happy ass to all these other rooms. So let's go ahead and end the day real quick. Because there's nothing else we're going to do. So now we have a thousand. Uh, a thousand of the uh, refined plastic. So let's go ahead and get another one of these. And we can do a couple things. We could just go straight to the military academy. Actually, you know what? Screw it. We're going to go straight for the military academy, and we'll bullet from there. Go ahead and do this. Now that our, you can't move on the first turn that you hire your army, but you can move afterwards. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and march him in here. Now, in classic plastic army man style, the pieces don't, like, walk or anything. They're literally on a base, and they just kind of, like, they just kind of, like, ice skate across the beautiful, beautiful wood flooring here. Is that natural hardwood? That looks like natural hardwood. Let's go to the next day. So now we're getting 10 XP up oh, right over here. We got a friggin' beetle or a roach or some BS making his way into our lands. This is like the living room over here. We got our big-ass flat-screen TV. Now, each room is worth different stuff. And the beetles want fresh food, rotten food, and meat. And we want all those different plastics. So obviously the beetles, for them, it's like the kitchen that's worth the most. Uh, different items for the food. And I don't really know what's worth the most for the plastics. I don't know if it's like the same, if the kitchen for some reason is worth the same amount of plastics. But anyway, so we've got an extra 500 stuffs right now. So let's go over here. Well, actually, you know what? I could just work on the batteries next, which we are eventually going to need because we're going to be down by 15. What does it take for this? It's going to take 600. Uh, yeah, we're going to get that next turn. So let's go ahead and end the day real quick. So little beetles are going to start moving around. Our dude over here can start kind of getting different places. Let's go ahead and where can I move you? Can I move you in here or do I have to move you here first? I have to move you here first, don't I? Let's go grab this area real fast. This is like the bathroom, and it's kind of easily defensible because the only way for them to get to this is to come through here. Again... 
having the most flags you can is really good. The other thing you could do, and I probably should have done this, is hire like one more guy and grab this room over here. So going back down here, let's go into managed, let's go back over to here, get a power station going because we are like freaking almost out of batteries. Ooh! That was close, boys. Alright, get out of this and now let's hire a real army. Uh, we do have 45 XP, so we're, we are starting to get there. It's just gonna take some time. Oh, and you have to buy your own ammo, too. Uh, so, the ammo that the shotgun people use is called unspecified ammo. I would buy, like, a ton of it. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and buy, like, at least 5,000. Because they freaking they freaking shoot everything. They go through it quick. So, right now, infantry. Gonna create a new army. Infantry, assault troop. We want a bunch of these guys for sure, uh, and then we can take a couple of riflemen as well for right now, and we're going to have to expand that army. We are going to need a bigger army than that, but we're going to get them kind of rolling for right now. Actually, you know what? We can roll them out right now because uh, armies can meet up and they can help one another. So let's go ahead and create that army. So next turn, we'll move out here and then we'll move down there. Let's go ahead and end the turn for now. Now the beetles are really starting to move in. They're going to grab this flag pretty much immediately. And they're going to want this flag next. Um, so I probably want to think about moving my men over there. I don't know, though. I may let them have that for right now, and then we can sweep in and grab it out from them. The only difference is then we'll be attacking. Actually, you know what? Yeah, it's going to be better to defend. Let's go ahead and head in here. The weird thing about attacking is that you need artillery in order to blow up their ant hills. And we don't have artillery yet. And it's going to be a little while until we get artillery. So we got those guys over there. We're going to need a lot more men. A lot more men. So let's go ahead and recruit another army. Uh, we're going to get several more of these guys. Like I said, I love these guys. They're so good. They're great at blasting ants too. And we're going to get just all the rifle men we can. And we're going to create this army. And then next turn, we'll be able to roll this army out, I do believe. So that's going to be good. All right, let's go ahead and end the day. We got our one dude sitting over here. Okay, so now we're going to have to defend. And that's fine. Because before we can, before we defend, we do get a move action, which is freaking sweet as hell. So our dudes are going to move right in over here, and it is going to be ass whippy time in the city, baby. 20 allied units versus 32 enemy bugs. Now, the bugs are much weaker than your men. So it's, it's, it's going to look like we're like super, super like being totally overwhelmed. Oh, actually, we have to destroy the enemy outpost, so we're going to lose here. Um, but that's fine. I'm going to show you this fight real quick. So we don't have a way to take out the enemy outpost, but I'm just going to show you kind of how the game plays. So here we are. This is like your strategic map or whatever you want to call it. This is like that uh, that total tank, total totally accurate battle simulator style where you lay down troops. Go over here to reinforcement, and you can click on all your different troop types. Now all we have is, a, is infantry, so we're going to lay down the law with these guys. Um, and then that is the ant hill. So we would put them all on this side because they're going to come from this side. I want my assault troops right out in front because that's our shotgun guys. They have the shortest range. Right behind them, the riflemen. Then we have one light rifleman. I'm just going to put him there. Okay, so pretty simple. All we have is infantry right now. So this is going to be like a very, very simplistic style of fight. Then what you do is you can start battle. It gives you 10 seconds to kind of like prepare. I don't know what this 10 seconds is doing. I don't know if it's like you're trying to hype yourself up or scratch your crotch if you need to at this point. Let's go ahead and just ready up and let's start moving out. You could, uh, you can, you can set people in a line if you want. You can grab some units and not others if you want and move them. You can grab one guy. We can grab one dude here. And this is where it's kind of cool. You can go in. Now when you hit things... You'll get like a little hitbox. It's kind of interesting. I don't think I've hit jack shit. Okay, I just hit that one right there. You see how my hitbox changed? Whoa! Freaking mosquitoes coming in hot over here. Holy crap! Yeah! You like that BS mosquitoes? Reload, reload, reload! Now our shot. Whoa! Holy Jesus! Our shotgun guys are going to be doing good against these ants. Because the ants are pains in the asses. Because they, they freaking come in like a giant ass swarm. Look at this! Look at how ridiculous this is! This is what you have to go up against. This is what we're up against. There is freaking... Oh, no. I think we just got a man down over there. Man down. Man down. We got... Our guys are going to be dropping like flies unless we can take these freaking dudes out. I kind of wish I had a bigger army when I did this. I think we just lost another man. You hear that? Man down. Man down. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. Hold on now. Hold on now there. You know what? Let's see. How about... Is there an assault guy I can take a hold of? Ah, oh, here we go. An assault troop. There we go. These guys are pretty cool because they do a lot of damage 
Uh, especially if you, hold on, get a good, bam! If you get a good, like, line of sight on some of these critters, you can get, like, you can get, like, seven, ten ants in one shot. Now, the one thing that I wish that there was, the battle is lost, death and infamy are above us, general. <laughs> I told you it wasn't easy! Um, to be fair, though, our army just was not at all big enough. Um, one of the things that I wish it had was I wish it had feedback. Like, there's no feedback, you know what I mean? Like, when you strike an ant or, like, when you strike a bug, I wish that you saw the creature, like, recoil and injury. Look at this! We killed 457 enemies! What kind of bullcrap is this? There's 20 of us! And we killed 457. There's only a few of them left, too. There's only three groups of these guys left and one group of the uh, mosquitoes left. So, and some mosquitoes. So, that was just, I mean, like I said, I just, real quick, I wanted to run through this just to kind of show you the campaign. Let's go over to the main menu and let's check out some of these custom units in the custom battle. So, we've got We'll throw down a couple of heavy riflemen. Actually, we'll throw down a bunch of heavy riflemen. How about that? We'll put down a few mechs, because everyone needs some mechs. Oh, oh God, flamethrower infantry? Yes, please. Uh, how about a couple of grenades? Let's see here. Fighting vehicles, assault vehicles, battle tanks. Yeah! How about a, how about a, a, heavy, a couple of heavy tanks, a couple of battle tanks? That sounds good. Why the hell not? One of these 320 millimeter self-propelled howitzers. Uh, let's see here. Oh, uh, Gray loves his rocket artillery. The big gun, because even I don't know what the hell that is. We're gonna get it, though. Uh, supply helicopter, sure. Let's get one of those. Let's get an airship, an interceptor, a fighter, uh, strike aircraft, why not? One of the warthogs, we'll get some of that. Long-range bomber. And... Grab a mortar vehicle just because. I'm gonna try a little bit of everything. I guess we have to do the war machine. We might as well. Uh, let's see here. Light anti aircraft, heavy anti aircraft because I love that crap. And uh, a whole bunch of supply trucks because we're gonna need them. All right. We're gonna do starting battle points very high so we can afford all this. And we're gonna go up against some crazy craps. So let's go up against a prank mantis, a black widow. What the hell is this? The Brazilian Wandering Spider. The most poisonous spider. Holy crap. Due to its aggressive temper and toxic poison, you better try to avoid it. It has weak armor, but thanks to its size, has some remarkable physical strength. Uh, yeah, why not? Let's go ahead and grab one of those. I like how it tells you a little bit about each one. What is this? Is this a grasshopper? The largest grasshopper in the world. In fact, it's 80 millimeters long and is called the Giant Locust. This insect has another nickname, the much more evocative Devil's Horse. Maybe it has this nickname due to its size, black color, or voraciousness. We don't know for sure. That sounds amazing. Let's get one of those. Uh, we have a couple. The Death Stalker. Oh, yeah. Let's grab a Death Stalker. We're going to be up against a bunch of big things. I want to be up against a bunch of big things. The Goliath Bird Eater. Now, I've heard of this one before. Look at this thing. The Therapossa Blondie. Is the Goliath pretty 300 millimeters in length and 170 grams. For being a spider, it doesn't have an armor, but it's very tough to knock down because of its size. Let's go ahead and grab one of those. What the hell is this? The tarantula hawk. It's called the tarantula hawk because it hunts tarantulas. Injects them with a poison that paralyzes them but keeps them alive and inserts an egg into their bodies. Therefore, when the larva hatches, it will eat the tarantula alive. Oh my god. Its puncture is the second most painful one in the insect world. The most painful one is the puncture of the Parapanera clavata, but it's much more toxic. If you see a hem hemipepsis over your head, kill it, kill it, kill it! Or it will kill your troops. Let's get one of those. All right, where's the pun of, where's that? Oh, right over here. Is this the bullet thing or whatever it's called? Yes! It's, it's poison is considered the most painful in the Schmidt Sting Pain Index. Its nickname is the bullet ant because of the pain caused by its sting. Feels like being shot by a gun and lasts for 24 hours. Oh, yeah. You know what? Let's get two of those guys. What is this? We're going to go up against everything. 
specimen of Weta can reach 100 millimeters and has some remarkable structural strength. If threatened, this insect shows an extremely aggressive nature and uses its length of its limbs to increase its size and impress its opponent. Its jaws are the main weapon and are able to cut and tear through even human skin. Let's grab one of those. Is this a giant honeybee or something? The Asian Giant Hornet. Considering that it's a flying insect, its size is impressive. It can reach 50 millimeters in length and 80 millimeter wingspan. Oh my god. Its venom is so powerful that it causes 30 to 40 deaths every year only in Japan. All right, we're going to get one of those. And then, of course, one of the freaking Titanus Giganteus. Incredible length of 170 millimeters. We're going to grab one of those. All right. So we're up against a lot of the biggest things. And you know what? I'm going to grab one of these guys. Because I think this is just a classic uh, grasshopper. But I love grasshoppers. Actually, you know what? We're going to be up against 10 of them. Oh, 11 of them. 10 of them. There we go. All right. Freaking do this. Let's freaking do this. I want to know how this. I want to know how this is going to look. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Reinforcements, infantry. We have quite a bit of infantry. So we have a bunch of heavy riflemen. So we're going to go ahead and kind of stack these guys up here. They're going to be leading the charge. We have, of course, flamethrower infantry. Now, there's no friendly fire in this game, so feel free to uh, do as you do. Grenade launcher dudes are going to be out on the flanks over here. We'll go ahead and grab... Now, there's a bunch of other maps you can choose, too. I just kind of choose the default one over here, which I think is the child's room? Yeah, it's the child's room. There's a giant-ass desk over there. All this, uh, all this, all this stuff is, like, interactable, too. So when you're flying the airplanes, you gotta, like, fly in between the chair and stuff like that. We got our, our mechs down. Supply trucks are super important because they're gonna make sure everyone has plenty of ammo and they heal people, I do believe. Anti-aircraft vehicle. It's good that we brought a couple of these because I think we've got some flying bastards out there. Some heavy tanks. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that right there. Some battle tanks. Woo! And, yes... One war machine. Look, what the hell is this? What is this? Is this a thing? It's got to be a real thing. I'm sure it's modeled. It's got to be modeled after a real thing. Now for our artillery. Let's see here. We have uh, a mortar vehicle. That's kind of interesting. Hold on here. Let me, um, I'm going to move kind of like, there we go. Mortar vehicle right there. The 320 millimeter self-propelled howitzer. Of course, two rocket artilleries, because I love the rocket artilleries. Too many troops on the battlefield. Too many troops on the battlefield? Oh, come on, man. All right, I think I have everything out that I want out right now. Let me see if what happens if I do ready over here. Um, start? Start? Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. So, now there's... I still have some extra reinforcements, I think. Like, I have this thing over here. Can I start, uh... Let me see here. Can I start using these guys? Too many troops on the battlefield. All right. So I guess you can only have like so many troops and that's as much as you can do. Let's go ahead and grab our dudes. Oh, God. Look at this thing. Yes, man down. Shoot her down, boys. Shoot her down. Shoot her down. Do not let these things get in here. Let's start putting the... Get all of our planes up in the air. There we go. Yeah. And the bombs are dropping. Let's go ahead and grab one of these. There we go. We are the Warthog. Now it's inverted. Oh, God. It's freaking inverted controls on this. Ah! I'm going to run into the freaking wall. Ow, ow, ow. Whoa. Yeah. We got guided missiles, too. Hold on. Oh, my God. I'm so bad. I'm so bad at controlling this thing. Air to ground rockets. Inbound. Air to ground rockets. Look at the grasshoppers jumping off the ground or whatever the hell they're doing. Oh, my God. I'm doing flips and shit. Hold on. Here we go. Here we go. And fire. Yeah. Oh, crap. Ah! All right, you know what? Gray using the planes was a terrible freaking idea. Let's use this tank. I'm decent at tanks. Yeah, there we go. We have a machine gun on here, too. You can change what you're using by uh, pressing the one and the two key. Hold on, let me, see if I can, let me see if I can back out of here and get past my men. The weird thing is, you can't push through infantry. As weird as that sounds, like, hold on, let me, let me, let, like, let me grab this guy. Let me get him the hell out of the way. Come here, flamethrower dude. Get over there, man. I want to I wanna grab this freaking tank. There we go. All right, now we can move. Look at the giant-ass spider over here doing its thing. Getting freaking leveled. Use our... Let me use the big cannon here. There we go. Fire the cannons. Ugh. Bam. 
You hear the, can you hear the, uh, the mech warriors doing their thing? There we go. That was a shot. We just took down a scorpion right there, boys. Yeah. That's what I'm freaking talking about. Our planes are dropping bombs super slow-mo style. Know how it is. Now, we've got some gigantic beetles way in the back over here. I'm firing the rockets at them. They've been dropping bombs on these things for quite some time. Oh, crap. Everyone's out of ammo, I think. Come on, come on. Reload, 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 reload. There we go. How about the one point... How about the, the 12.7 machine gun? How do you feel about that, you scumbag piece of garbage? Apparently, he feels just fine about it. Let's get out of this real quick. Where's our howitzer at? There's the howitzer. I don't, I don't really know where we're firing, though. It may be too close. All right, man. Our freaking howitzer is wiping these guys up. We got that light anti-aircraft vehicle over here. If I can get it out of here, that is. Just because right now, like I said, I'm stuck between a bunch of freaking army men. Out of the way, army men. I got things to do, man. I'm a light, light anti-aircraft vehicle, all right? I got to go blow some fools up. Who's left? Which scumbag is left? You can kind of zoom as well. We got missiles? This is interesting. Whoa! What does what do the missiles do? I, oh, did we already use them all? No, we didn't use them all. They're still there. Oh, I, I'll bet you need a, an actual target in order to use it. In order to use it. What the hell are we firing at? Oh, look at this guy over here! All right, scumbag. You wanna you wanna roll up on old Gray? You must be freaking kidding me. Wow, that was a freaking howitzer shot, now wasn't it? He got blasted. Yeah! Get wrecked, fool! Get wrecked! I, I feel, I feel really bad for the, for the, the insects. They, they totally got steamrolled. Um, that's very sad. We only lost six people. Holy crap! But anyway, I just wanted to show you this game. This is a weird game, man. I don't know how to feel about it. Like the idea behind it is amazing. Having all these army men and all these different units and all of them having different abilities and powers and things that they're good at and stuff like that. Like that portion is awesome. Having all the insects and all the facts about the insects and like having them have different abilities and stuff like that. Also awesome. But the animation, the, the feedback of getting the hits in and stuff like that. And then the controls really need some work. I feel, I don't know. What do you guys think of this game? I think it has a lot of potential. I think it just needs a lot of polish. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode of home wars. Just want to give you a real quick glimpse at this game. It's out on steam. There's going to be a link in the description below. If you do want to check it out. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.